This AI tool is transforming the way engineers approach complex structural, geotechnical, and tunnel problems. Civils.ai, an innovative AI tool, has emerged as a game changer, offering engineers a powerful platform to analyze and solve a range of challenges. It can determine ground-bearing capacity, perform retaining wall calculations, generate bending moment diagrams, and optimize structural solutions. Analyzing structural, geotechnical, and tunnel problems. Civils.ai empowers civil engineers to analyze an array of challenges. To access this AI tool, first of all, search Civils.ai in your browser and click on the first option that appears. After that, go with the option Get Started. Here you would have to select Continue with Google. Now, select your email here and you would be logged in after that. After you're logged in, you can now compute ground bearing capacity, slope stability analysis, breast excavations, foundation settlement calculator, retaining wall calculator and all those sort of things. Then you, there is structural component where beam calculator is there, there is 3D structural analysis and uh, these options uh, particularly the beam calculator is pretty much necessary for every student because it becomes sometimes really much tedious for us to calculate the bending moment and shear force diagrams after that you can also compute truss analysis and then you also have this option of moment of inertia calculator you can also adjust the concrete section designers which we will do in the next videos if you want otherwise we will just go for the beam calculator in this video you can also have tunneling problems uh, you like a tunnel settlement calculator then pipe uh, jackling calculator you also have machine learning where you have uh, the options as building design predictor and uh, slope gradient calculator in concrete section so let's go to the option ground bearing capacity and explore uh, what's inside now here it is the there is a, a built-in diagram of ground bearing capacity the utilization is 18 percent and the structure is pass yes now i'll adjust the values uh, according to my own situation and uh, here let's suppose this is the foundation profile and i'll change it to circle let's suppose the foundation is circle in my case and the diameter i keep it the same uh, and uh, let's suppose the embankment uh, that is 0.7 meter and uh, now i'll change the permanent load to 190 kilo newton then i analyze it see 18 percent now it's 26 percent utilization it's it's still passed the structure is still successful then i'll increase the load to 25,000 or 2500 maybe yes so see the structure is failed now the utilization is 393 39 percent that means that i can't uh, that means that the design of this structure is failed so i have to change the values of foundation diameter and embedment so this is how it gave me the idea of about the ground bearing capacity now i'll go for the beam calculator in beam calculator any sort of beam that you have you can customize it to your own required beam now here i want to customize my beam so i'll go for the length as 8 meter that is 8000 millimeter then i keep the section properties uh, same to the default settings then i'll go to supports and here i want to uh, place my supports on the extremes so therefore i put zero millimeter for the first support and then i'll press apply now here you can see the support has shifted towards the left and it's on the edge now then about the support two it would be 8000 millimeter because the length is eight meters so then i'll press apply and here you can see the second support has been shifted to the extreme right now let's suppose i want to add a third support in between these two supports i'll click beam supports then i'll click new click on new and then you place the position let's suppose this is support number three and the position is 1200 millimeters then i'll press apply after selecting apply here you can see the support is being given with the upward load so then i'll go to the point loads and i'll change them accordingly or i'll adjust them the magnitude and the position let's suppose i change it to 11 kilo newton then i'll apply and here you can see the point load 2 there are two point loads i'll, I'll change the magnitude to 10 kilo newton i'll apply and here you can see the the values are changing accordingly then i'll go to the uniformly distributed load i start from zero millimeters let's suppose i start from 10 millimeters with the zero kilometer per meter then to and uh, i press apply and here it is it is adjusting accordingly 
so this these are the basic adjustments of loads and supports then i keep these values the same then i'll click bending moment diagram to get the results so here it is you have got the bending moment diagram and uh, now i can press shear force diagram to get shear force diagram yeah you also get maximum shear force and minimum shear force uh, that's given on the top of my table so this is a simple method to calculate your bending moment diagrams and shear force diagrams you can also calculate bending uh, deflection diagram yeah so maximum deflection and minimum deflection is given so yeah that's pretty much it so this is how you can use this tool civils.ai is reshaping the landscape of civil engineering by seamlessly integrating ai technology into the analysis and design process. Its capabilities extend from assessing ground bearing capacity to solving intricate structural challenges. With its user-friendly interface, instant calculations, and dynamic scenario comparisons, Civils.ai empowers engineers to make well-informed decisions that optimize project outcomes. As AI continues to evolve, tools like Civils.ai stand at the forefront of innovation revolutionizing the way civil engineers approach complex problems. Thank you for joining us in this exploration, and we look forward to showcasing more transformative tools in the future.